We often feel very tired and even exhausted after the event. We have many contacts, but but one huge problem is that after the high of the event have passed, how many deals are actually there? How many marketing collaborations are actually there on the table? And today, the video is about giving you five and six important tips that you can take away and use it at the next crypto conference to network and close the deal with exactly who you want. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share some insider tips on how to hack a crypto conference and network and walk away the deals with exactly who you want. So tip number one is access. Going to the event is all about meeting with like-minded people in a certain environment and being the sponsor of the event or buy a few VIP tickets for you and your team will ensure that. Right, because let's say there will be dinners for the sponsors, and you can certainly do so. And just in case if your project is on a budget, there are some other ways to go around that. You could sponsor the food, you could sponsor the coffee, you could, you could even sponsor the booze to get noticed. And tip number two is to go to the side events. Obviously, we all know that, but specifically the ones prior to the main event, people are usually less bothered and they are still pretty excited for the event because they just got to the city. This is a great opportunity to strike up a conversation with the right people. Now, let's talk about standing out. You want to wear or bring something slightly stand out, like a banana maybe, a bow tie, a kimono, or even your dog. This will give people the opportunity to speak to you and make a connection from there. But it is not only about standing out from the appearance. You also want to organize cool activity like lunch or dinner and invite others. It's similar to dating. It's always better to invite them to your party. You look good, you feel good, everybody having a great time, curious about you as a person, this leads to more report and trust building. Make it easier to further the business relationship. For example, I organized a yoga side event at ETH Portal a month ago and invited folks from the event and specifically Ethereum Foundation. They came and we had a great time at yoga. We had brunch. It was a huge success. So think outside the box. What are some activities that usually after parties does not cover but you genuinely enjoy doing. And one thing that people often overlook is to say goodbye properly. They say, people might forget your name, might forget what you do, might forget about your project completely, but they will never forget how you make them feel. At the end of the day, we're all humans and all humans have emotions. Listen carefully to people you met and remember details like which events they're going to next. Uh, maybe they're into poetry, maybe they're into cooking, maybe they're into doing water sports. And after the events, maybe a week or two, follow up with them on that specific thing. For example, hey, I heard you went to Hong Kong or went to East Tokyo. How's that going? And why are you coming back? I'm going to this event next. Just for example, right? And finally, a bonus tip, which is to introduce your network to them. Think about when was the last time someone has done something so nice to you. They put together a deal for you. They introduce maybe your partner or your life partner to you. I guarantee you that you never forget that. So treat other people the way you want to be treated. And after that, be cool about it. And I guarantee you 95% of the time, they will do something in return. But the most important thing is that do not do it only for the fruits of your actions, but do it from a pure intentions, right? So there you have it, the five, six tips about hacking a crypto conference and be able to meet and connect and close the deal with who you want. This is Mr. Jazzy. I thank you so much for watching. I trust you are finding this video extremely helpful. And I find out there whether you're in Barcelona, Napoli, or Texas. And we will see each other soon. Let me know in the comments if you have any additional tips or if you have tried any of these before. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more valuable content like this. And hey, thank you for watching. Don't be a stranger. Much love.